Hello, hello. How are we all today? Um, I hope everyone is having a good Wednesday. I know here it's been very hot, very windy, and I'm hoping it rains because I have no water in my tanks. We're on tank water and we need water, so let's hope that happens. <laughs> uh, anyway, today I want to talk to you about uh, making friends wherever we go and how important it is to have a big circle of friends and a big group of friends and this is just my opinion but to me this is this is a big deal and it's something that I um, I love doing every single day because I think making friends and uh, really having a good support network is what helps to keep you motivated and to keep you uplifted and in those bad times where you're feeling down or you're not feeling as positive you've got those people there for your support but not only that, but if you have friends who, uh, how do you say it? Like if you have friends who are more experienced than you or they're someone that you want to achieve to be like, then obviously they're the kind of friends you want to hang around because you can learn so much from those people, you know, and you're not just hanging off their tail just to learn from them. Obviously, you want to be good friends with them anyway, but it's just a bonus on top of that if you're learning from these type of people and and you're really uh, becoming you know very social and and having a really good support and group network that you can learn from and grow with. So it's the same as if people are friends with you and they're learning from you. I, I know that's a big thing for me. There's I've met a lot of people in my last twelve months who. They're not only my friend, but I'm learning a lot from them. And it's the same with me. People are learning stuff from me. They're learning content from me and they're learning how to do different things and leadership and all that sort of stuff. So it really does go both ways. And you think about, you know, I think of my situation where my family is nowhere near me. So what does that mean? I grab onto my friends with, you know, both hands clenched because I don't have family around. So my friends are my biggest support network. They're the people that are there to help with my kids and they help in life and just in general, we're there for each other. And I know that, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without the friends and support network that I've had over the last 12 months up here on the Sunshine Coast. So, and I was just speaking to one of my friends, Caroline, today. She's She's only, you know, we haven't met each other um, many times we're only new friends but she knows so much about different things that I'm wanting to learn about so I find that really cool that I've you know become friends with someone who's like-minded but is already more experienced than me in the things that I'm already learning so to me that is a huge bonus on top of the friendship because she can teach me things as we go and then I may be able to teach her things about you know stuff that I do that she doesn't know about as well and it goes both ways so I really find that your friends can become your family and that that should be, you know, something that, that we have in life on top of, obviously, our normal family. So I'll just have a look here. Hey, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah says, grow your tribe, not just your business. Yeah, totally agree. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Anne. Hey, Matt. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Craig. Oh, God, there's heaps. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Candice. Hey, Camilla. Hey, Hasmita. How are you all going? So I just think that that's a really good thing is, you know, having that good support network and always being in, in a place where you've got friends wherever you go or, you know, in any place around the world even. I've got friends now in Canada who are, um, you know, we're becoming really good friends even though we only ever talk online. And I know that if I, if I go to America in April, which I'm planning to do, and they come along as well, I'm going to meet them face to face. And what does that mean? That means I've got more friends around the world. It's the same in America. I've got friends in America now and they're like six and seven figure earners, but they're my friends. And so I can learn a lot from them to grow myself and to get more confidence and, and build me up to know that, you know, I can, if they can do the things that I'm trying to do, I believe in that more and I believe in myself more because I have people around me who have done that and who have been in that same position as me. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'll just read a few of these. Um, hey, Anne. Anne says, I love making new friends. Support networks are essential. Yes. Hey, Hayley. How are you going? I hope to see you at Christmas, Hayley. Are you going to be there? <laughs> yeah, everyone. I've got my Christmas tree up. Can you see it? <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> So we actually don't, um, we spend time 
either with my family at Christmas or my partner's family at Christmas and that's usually one of the only times we see our families. So this is why I think that's just coming back to the whole friends network and that big circle of people around you and the support that you can get from that. I just find that to be a really important part of life and, a, and an important part of growing yourself and your confidence and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, hey San Auntie Sandy, how are you going? Auntie Sandy's in Western Australia, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys agree with that, send me some love. Tell me if you agree or if you don't agree. And, and this is why I think, you know, our social media, media can really be um, a big part of that. And that's why my video yesterday was about making sure your social media is something that people want to look at and follow you on. And it should be safe. So, you know, if you don't want people seeing your kids and stuff on there, obviously don't have those photos as public and that sort of thing and make sure that your news feed isn't negative sort of stuff if you're not not a negative person you don't want people to think that you're that kind of person so I really think that sort of thing comes hand in hand and if you're meeting people you know at the shops or at the movies or uh, in the car park or you know at the, at the park with your kids and all that sort of stuff it's it's just not just meeting hey how you going see you later I really think that building those friendships and that network is is such a big thing and it's so important in your life, especially when you're uh, in a situation like I am where your partner works away a lot and you've got two kids on your own and no family around and that sort of thing. If you're those sort of people, you really need to have a good support network around you and you, you want to be learning from them as well. I learn all the time from all the people in my uh, home-based business network and I learn a lot from you know people that I'm meeting every single day and and especially Sarah, who was on here before, I learned so much from her. She's, yeah, she's so valuable to me. And and so I just hope that I can be like that for other people as well. So I am actually going to be creating um, a private group for, you know, just to build more friendships and so people can see um, the way that I do things and, and can get some free content from me for what I do in life and, and different sorts of things that can help you in life as well and I know that you know um, I've been in some of these groups myself and they really do provide a lot of um, good content and a lot of support and that sort of stuff and so I think that's a bit more personal than just having a Facebook group you know Facebook is very open so having that sort of more private VIP group I think is um, it's something that I want to start doing and so if any of you want to become a part of that group and see my journey and see the things that help me in life and with my health and with my family and all that sort of supportive stuff then let me know and I can add you into that group as well so yeah I thank you all for listening in hey Danielle hey Gemma is it raining on the on the Gold Coast Danielle I heard that you guys have had a storm how'd you go today Gemma <laughs> with your shopping <laughs> but anyway if you want to see what I've been doing with my 30 day challenge uh, videos my Facebook live videos I do have a blog that you can go on at JanelleEmma.com um, you can actually follow me on my Janelle Emma Facebook page as well obviously and you can see my journey along there but I am getting a lot more likes and a lot more views and that sort of stuff so I do want to start creating some more good content for people that that they seem to be interested in so I want to really tap into that and and get people you know to know to know people more and get them to know me more and that sort of stuff as well which creates that really good support network so yes I wish it was raining too Gemma we need water <laughs> anyway I thank you all for listening in and I will see you again tomorrow